In this problem, the gas company used the following function for computing their customers' monthly gas bills. For x greater than 0, less than or equal to 24, the cost is 0.37x plus 3. For x is greater than 24, the cost is computed as 0.78x minus 6.84, where x is the number of terms or thermal units used, and cx is the cost in dollars. In part A, we're going to find the limit of the cost as x approaches 24 from the left. In part B, we're going to find the limit of the cost as x approaches 24 from the right. And the last part, we're going to find the two-sided limit for the cost as x approaches 24. In part A, x approaches 24 from the left means x is slightly less than 24. And then we look at the piece y defy function. We're going to go with the first piece, which is the cost equals 0 0.37x plus 3. So we can rewrite the limit of the function in the form of the limit. x approaches 24 from the left of the expression 0 0.37x plus 3. And this is the polynomial function. The limit of the function is the same as the function value. We will replace the x with the value 24. 0 0.37 multiplied by 24 plus 3. And the value will be $11.88. The next part, similar way. We're going to find the limit as x approaches 24 from the right. That means we're going to look at the function that defines for x greater than 24, which is the function 0.78x minus 6.84. Another polynomial function, we're going to replace the x with the value 24. 0 0.78 multiplied by 24 subtracted by 6.84, and we will get 12.24 unit in dollars. Now, the last part, the limit of the cost as x approaches 24. This one is the two-sided limit. By definition of the two-sided limit, it does exist if the left-sided equals the right-sided limit. From part A and part B, part A is the left-sided limit, part B is the right-sided limit. They are not the same. If they are, are not the same, we can say that the two-sided limit does not exist. We put a note here because the left-sided limit of the course is not the same as the right-sided limit of the course function.